Hey guys, it's he. I know it's been a while since I've made a video on this channel. It's been quite the year. I'm now headed into my second semester of sophomore year at Brown. Yeah, time does fly. Anyways, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how I get ready for each semester and hopefully help y'all to be organized throughout your college journey. The two big things that I use throughout my year to keep myself organized and on track is Google Calendar and Notion. In the beginning of this video, I'll take you through how I set up my GCAL for the rest of the semester and then in the second half, I'll show you guys how I use Notion and also how to fill out the free template that I made just for y'all so that will be in the description below hopefully it's helpful because I know at some points it gets very confusing so I apologize in advance so yeah without further ado let's get into it yeah okay so here is my Google Calendar um as you can see she's pretty empty so let's fill it in with all my classes for the semester. If you're already pretty familiar with Google Calendar, you can skip this section, but if you want to stick around, you definitely can. This upcoming semester runs from January 26th to May 20th. You want to keep your start and end dates in mind so that you can make reoccurring events in Google Calendar that start at your start date and end at your end date. I'm enrolled in four classes this semester, Atma 360, Engine 520, Engine 720, and HIAA 860. So let me put them in my calendar. Oh, before we get started, let's just make sure that my time zone is set correctly. Um, right now I'm in Hawaii Standard Time, but I need my schedule to be in Eastern Standard Time for school. So um, let's just make sure that the settings are right. Um, yeah, okay, so good. Eastern Standard Time. Perfect. Let's start with Atma 360. So Atma 360 occurs on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays from 12 to 12.50 p.m. So I'm just going to go to the 12 p.m. time block in my Eastern Standard column, click it. Sorry, let me just drag it up there. Um, we'll name this event Atma 360 and then make sure it goes from 12 to 12.50. And in order to make it a reoccurring event, we have to change the repeat settings. So we'll click on does not repeat, click custom, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it will end on May 20th. Okay, perfect. And then we click done, and then we click save. So now, as we can see, it has become a repeating event. So cool. Um, Next, let's tackle Engine 520. Engine 520 happens on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays from 10 to 10.50. So I just click on the 10 o'clock block, change it to 10.50 um, p.m. Click does not repeat, custom, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, ends on May 20th, 2022, done, save, Totally forgot to put the title of. Mm. Okay, so now it's called Engine 520. I like to color coordinate all of my classes, so I feel like Engine 520 is like a green, so I'm gonna change it to green. Um, do this to this event and all following events. Press OK, and now she is green whenever you see her in the calendar. I'm just gonna speed through all of my other uh, time blocks and classes right now. Okay, so as we can see, I filled in my GCAL with all of the time blocks where my classes meet and whenever we have a section. Now that this is finished, um, let's move on to the second part of this video, which is Notion. Uh, if you don't know what Notion is, Notion is like a, um, it's kind of like a productivity, I don't, I, I don't even know how to describe it. You know what? I'm just gonna Google it. Notion is a note-taking software and project management software that is used for note-taking, task management, project management, knowledge management, and personal knowledge management. The app uses databases and markdown pages for use in personal and collaboration work. Yeah, basically. Basically that. I use Notion throughout my school year. It's free. I recommend if you're a student using your student email because I think you get the pro version, or at least like the pro student version if you do that. So um, let's 
get to it. If you click on the link in the description below, it will take you to the semester template that I created in Notion. So uh, let's do that right now. So I'm gonna paste the link into Google. Okay, cool. So it should take you to this page right here. So I'm gonna walk you through like exactly how to edit everything in here. So don't worry. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press duplicate and then it should take you to this page and it's in your like notion already yep so it's right there so it should be copied to your notion so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go up here and press unlock page okay because if you don't do that then you won't be able to edit anything in the template so um yeah you're gonna want to press unlock page and then you can start editing so um up here i'm gonna say sophomore year um spring 2022 university hub i put the start and end date of my semester over here so january 26 2022 to may 20th 2022 here's where you can put your classes if you click on this it takes you to a little page that you can put all of your class information on for class one i'll make this engine 720 so i'm gonna put engine 0720 let's put that here as well thermodynamics so basically you can put the instructor name email where the class takes place the meeting times and um office hours if you need and then over here i like to put the grade policy so um for example homework is worth uh 10 percent lab is worth 10 percent yeah so forth so i like to put the grade breakdown up there down here this is the to do that you can filter for your class but we'll get back to this in a sec let's go back to the main hub we're gonna go to the master schedule this one is probably the most useful i think i use this the most out of all of the other stuff in this template here we're gonna put our year uh, we'll put the same thing in here so here is basically like where i put all my assignments like anything that needs to get done goes into this master schedule thing done is if like you complete the task and then you click that check mark the course you're gonna have to edit these in order to do that you just click on the little like three dot thingy and then you just change the name right there so class one um that was yellow was my thermodynamics class so engine 0720 and then you just edit the rest of your classes from there if you want to add a class um just x that out and then type in the class name that you want to add so i want to add hiaa 0860 so you just type it right in and then press return and then there it is so when you click on it you're going to find it in the drop down menu if you want to change the color you just click the three dots and then uh whatever color you want it to be i'm just going to take you through a sample of making one of these so uh let's press new uh, let's call this assignment homework 2 and this will be for Atma. Let's say that it's due January 14th. Um, if you have the Notion app or even like on the web, I like to do this. I just like to put a little reminder like one day before and then it will remind you to do the assignment the day before that is due. The type, it's an assignment week we'll say zero let's pretend that it has six problems in the problem set so there are six problems and let's say that we finish two of them so two and then it shows up right here in this little progress bar how much you finished so um now that i've showed you around the little master schedule to our right we have a little like preview of the master schedule i really don't like this table view so if you click right here on these little notepad looking thing you get the gallery view so the filters that i've set on here is basically that this list is going to show you assignments that are due within the upcoming week as you can see um we have this assignment that's that hasn't been done yet so that'll be shown right here let me go in and edit the rest of these classes now that all of that's edited i'm gonna go back to the first one that we opened earlier so engine 720 we're gonna look at this to-do list so basically this previews um your master schedule for, that we just opened and edited but as you can see here it's showing all of your classes we can make it so that it filters out everything except for engine 720 for this page so in order to do that we're gonna click gallery and we're gonna press these three dots here click on filter and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter, add a filter group, 
um, we want it to filter by course. So we're going to click on course. So the course is, in this case, we want it to be engine 720. So click on engine 720. And there we go. So right now it's only going to show assignments for engine 720. And then you can basically go in and do that for all of your other classes and the to-do list as well. Let's go back to the main hub. Down here we have the weekly study plan. So in my study plan section, I kind of like plan out my week and break down like the assignments and how I'm going to tackle all my work throughout the week. For example, if ATMA 360 piece sets are due on Fridays, I'll say ATMA homework do and I'll make it um let's make it blue so I'll make it blue um, at my homework due uh let's say that engine 720 has a piece set due on Wednesday so I'll say engine 720 homework due before those days where these homework assignments are due I can say like work on engine 0720 um start engine 0720 and so on so basically like this is where I make my study plan and like what I should be doing every day of the week so now that that's filled out we have this little thing right here and you're probably wondering like what does that even mean insert widget here well the cool thing with notion is that you can like integrate like widgets from other websites into notion itself what I like to use is a website called indify.co i use the free version of it you just sign up with like any email you want and then you get to use all these really cool widgets for free let's open up indify yeah let's create a new widget so down here we have all of the really cool looking widgets i usually put a countdown for like days until semester ends i know like people like to put like weather or like their google calendar on that dashboard I like my little countdown, so I'm gonna click on countdown, create widget, okay, and then my event title, I'm gonna call it, um, days until the semester ends. So here we're gonna add the date in which the semester ends, which for me is May 20th. Cool. Personally, I like only seeing weeks, so I'll click on just weeks so weeks days hours minutes seconds. and then i like to change the color so i think in my template it's green so i'm gonna choose a green color so text color i want it to be green so i have that nice little green and then i'm also gonna make this green a little to go green as well so once you've selected the color that you enjoy you're just gonna click on this little clipboard here which means that this link, the link to this countdown is copied. So we're gonna go back to the template and then we're gonna go here, we're gonna delete this and you're just gonna paste it right in. And then once you paste it, you're gonna press create embed. And here is our widget. I like to align it with this on the side. So let me just like that. And yeah, it's basically done. And that is how you fill in the template. That's about it. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Anyways, thanks for watching and until next time, shoots.